Welcome back. Lawmakers in Hong Kong have unanimously approved a new national security law. One lawmaker says Hong Kong is simply following other nations with enacting more national security laws. The second bill is backed by China's communist government. It threatens life imprisonment for treason and insurrection. There are also concerns that Catholic priests could be coerced into revealing what they hear in confession. And for analysis, we turn now to Bill McGurn, Main Street columnist for The Wall Street Journal and Godfather, to Jimmy Lai, the founder of Apple Daily and a pro-democracy advocate. Bill, great to have you on again. Um, tell us more. Thank you about this new national security law. How is this different from the measure that was signed in 2020? Yeah, it's a long time coming. When Hong Kong was handed over to China, uh, shortly after they wrote this law called the Basic Law, which was the constitution for Hong Kong. And in that law, this section called um, Article 23, and it's, it's basically calls on the government to have a new set of security laws that reflect its new status under China, not in Britain. Well, every time they tried in 2003 to do that, and the public really rebelled. Um, they tried to get in 2019 to get an extradition treaty. That means that Hong Kong people could be sent to try China for trial, and there were huge public protests. So, China then passed this national security law, which it imposed on Hong Kong. That's what you're talking about. It imposes law, and the law is very vague. Basically, it means whatever China wants it to mean. Jimmy Lai is being prosecuted uh, under it right now for having foreign uh, contacts, uh, foreign collusion. In addition to that, they still want this other legislation which they do, just approved. They say it clears up things like treason and insurrection. Really what it does is give the, uh, the government more tools to lock people up. Um, the Hong Kong Democracy Council reports that they already have 1,829 political prisoners. Um, and I sus the law is also very vague. Um, and I suspect it'll, it will also mean whatever the government says it means. Yeah, and Bill, quickly, you know, how could this impact the Catholic Church and other Christian communities? And do you think this is going to force priests to break the Silla Confession? Uh, the a diocese with the new cardinal issued a statement saying it will not. But other people are not so sure. I am only sure of this. If, if China or Hong Kong determines that the uh, seal of confessional needs to be broken for some uh, trial they they plan it will be broken if they want it to mean that it'll mean that whatever the promises are today bill um little under a minute left um but curious have you heard anything about jimmy Lai about his current condition at all and how he's doing well, right now right now he's on trial um and it's very lengthy trial probably has two or three months ago. So um, this is what he's been in jail waiting for, the big trial and foreign influence. And he drives him crazy because he won't admit his guilt. He pleads not guilty. That means he'll have a say. And I think in, in reality, though he's a man in the dock, really Hong Kong has put itself in trial. The US, the UK, the UN, They've all raised questions about this trial uh, of Jimmy Lai. It's a clear uh, case of politics, putting um, on trial uh, an unfavored political figure because he opposed the government. And he's only the most famous face. There are a lot of people in jail that nobody knows. No one knows their names because they were pro-democracy when the government didn't want them to be. Yeah, and we are praying for Jimmy, of course. Bill, thank you so much for coming on. It was great to see you. We appreciate it. Oh, you're it. welcome. God bless.